Hello dear students, welcome to Maitri Academy. In this video, we will try to look at the solutions for the practice questions which I have given in the last video. If you have not watched the last video on ratios, please go and watch the video, look at the practice questions, solve them and comment the answers. If you are not able to solve or if you need a guidance for that, you can go through this video now. So I have given four practice questions under the ratios parts method. So let's look at how can we tackle them. So the practice question number one, if you observe this question, 25 chocolates are distributed in the ratio of 2 is to 3 between Sita and Rita. How many chocolates did Rita got? That's a question. So we are able to see total 25 chocolates. They are distributed between Sita and Rita. So the ratio between them is 2 is to 3. That means 2 parts is received by Sita, 3 parts are received by Rita. The sum of the parts are going to be 5. So this 5 parts value is indicating the total number of chocolates distributed for Sita and Rita. So the total number of chocolates given in the question as 25. That means this 5 parts value is 25. They are asking how many chocolates received by Rita. So they are asking the 3 parts value. If 5 parts is going to be 25, then we can say 1 part is going to be 5 and they are asking the 3 parts value, 3 parts is going to be 15. So answer for the question, 15 chocolates are received by Rita. Let's look at the next question. The ratio between the two numbers is 3 is to 7. Their sum is 20. Find the smaller number of those two numbers. So ratio between the two numbers is 3 is to 7. That means we can say 3 parts and 7 parts and sum of them is 20. That means 3 parts and 7 parts, sum of those two numbers will be what? 10 parts. This 10 parts value is clearly given as 20. If 10 parts is 20, what is one part value which is going to be 2? They are asking what is a smaller number. So out of 3 parts and 7 parts, 3 parts is a smaller number. If one part is 2, 3 parts is going to be 3 into 2 which is going to be 6. So you can mark your answer choice. The smaller number is going to be 6. And what is the larger number? So because one part is 2, larger number will be 14. Again, if you add up, the sum will be 20. So the simple question, just you will be having the question in such a way that there will be a number, connect that number with the equivalent parts like this, get one part value, find the required value. That's a simple approach in all parts method. So let's look at one more question. The weights of Arun and Bala are in the ratio of 4 is to 5. If the total weight is 45 kgs, find the weight of Bala. So, as I told you, what we need to do, look at the number which is available, connect that number with the equivalent parts. That means, here, the weights of Arun and Bala is 4 is to 5. So, 4 parts and 5 parts. The total weight is 45 kgs. So, Arun and Bala, the total weight will be 4 parts plus 5 parts, which is going to be 9 parts. This 9 parts value is going to be 45. If 9 parts is 45, then I can say 1 part value will be 5. They are asking what is the weight of Bala. Bala weight is 5 parts. If 1 part is 5, then 5 parts value will be equal to 25, which is available as option D. You can mark it as an answer choice. Let's look at the last practice question which is given. The total marks, the marks obtained by Raju in maths, physics, chemistry are in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4. If the total marks that Raju obtained these three subjects is 189. How many marks Raju got in maths? This is a question. So if you observe the ratio between them, maths, physics and chemistry. So maths, physics and chemistry. So what is the ratio of the marks? 2 is to 3 is to 4. That means 2 parts is a marks obtained in maths. 3 parts is a marks obtained in physics. 4 parts is a marks obtained in chemistry. So what is the sum of the parts? 2 parts, 3 parts, 4 parts. The sum of the parts is going to be 9 parts. So here you observe the sum of the marks or total marks in all the 3 subjects. They given 189. That means this 9 parts value is equal to 189. That means we can say 1 part value 9 twos are 9 ones are which is going to be 21. They are asking how many marks Raju got in maths. So maths he got 2 parts. So 1 part is 21. That means 2 parts value will be equal to 42. So you can mark your answer choice. The marks obtained by Raju in maths will be equal to 42. 
so like that you can solve the questions which are related to parts method hope you understand and a small announcement maitri exam prep app is having complete course of tsi set and api set 2025 so if you want to buy you can buy the complete course where you can see topic wise videos and mock exams and pdf practice pdf workout sheets and all so you can go through the maitri exam prep app and uh, go to i set prep tab you can able to see tgi set complete course and api set complete course so with the price of 1250 rupees so you can buy the course and get complete guidance for your i set preparation with me so i have made all the completed videos based on the previous year papers by searching the previous year papers only stick to i set examination preparation all the videos are made so you can get the benefit of that so instead of 4000 rupees we are selling it for only 1250 you can utilize that offer now thank you so much see you in the next session and please comment below if you need any specific topic so based on your comment i will make next video